Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create CSV file per Excel file and load all the sheets data to that CSV file in SSIS package. So let's open our source folder where I have two Excel files. You can have three or maybe one or maybe hundreds of Excel files. Let's open the Excel file. And uh, here in the first Excel file, we have two sheets. So we have sheet one and sheet two. The columns in sheet one is id name and date of birth the same columns we have on the sheet two just to make sure if you are creating a single csv file from an excel that can contain multiple sheets the the metadata or the column structure on those all sheets should be the same okay i have another scenario where sheets are different from each other in each of the excel file and i have created that video as well how to create csv for each of a separate sheet from excel files now let's go ahead and open the second one and this one has also sheet 2 and sheet 3 if you see right here in the first one we have sheet 1 sheet 2 but here we have sheet 2 and sheet 3 so sheet names doesn't matter we don't really care about it we are going to read it as long as the number of columns does match we have id full name date of birth the same thing we have id full name date of birth and we have one record on each of sheet let's close this one and we would like to create the csv file so there would be two csv files created and the data will be loaded from each of excel sheet to it now let's go back and here i have a folder called destination folder that's where we would like to create those csv as of now there is no csv file or any file in this folder open the ssdt sql server data tools uh, create a new package right click new package and uh, let's rename this one uh, create csv per excel per excel file save it now i would recommend creating the three variables the one will be source folder that's where your excel files are going to be and uh, let's uh, this is string the destination uh, uh, variable folder and uh, this is going to be string and file delimiter why uh, let me see delimiter. okay why I'm creating uh, all these uh, three variable because uh, this will uh, give us opportunity to make our SSIS package more dynamic think about it if I want to create a comma separator I can put comma here and it will create a comma tomorrow if uh, let's say if I get a requirement hey I don't want to create a comma separated uh, CSV file let's say we would like to have a pipe delimited so I will come here and just change it even uh, I can use these variables in the configuration and I don't have to even open my package I can provide uh, the values for these variables from the configuration so this will make my package dynamic uh, in uh, uh, especially when we need to deploy to the QA, UAT and uh, production. Um, now let's go ahead and provide the values to this one for now. So destination folder path, we are going to provide that uh, right here. And then uh, here I'm going to leave this one for comma and we will test uh, with the pipe sign as well. And uh, let's come back and uh, get the source folder. Source folder here that has our Excel files copy come back here and provide the value now we are going to bring the script task in SSIS package uh, in the control flow pan just save it in case uh, something goes wrong uh, script task and here we will be using those uh, variables uh, I'm going to select uh, the destination folder I'm going to select the file delimiter and I'm going to select the source uh, so I'm trying to find source uh, right here source folder all good uh, just to let you know these uh, uh, variable names are case sensitive and when you are going to type inside the script task uh, just remember that whatever you have typed uh, here so edit script uh, and uh, that's where we are going to write our script uh, instead of typing all those script uh, I already have created the post uh, for this uh, scenario so the code is already there I'm going to show you we will paste it and we will walk uh, through so go to the techbrothersit.com uh, once you are there you will be going to the SSIS video tutorial and under that we will go to the 
script task here is script task and then we have uh, excel source and destination script task dynamic and uh, right here how to create csv file per excel file and load all sheets from excel file to it so they open that one and uh, go down if you are working in the office you can don't have the opportunity to go to the video you can always uh, read the post everything is there you can uh, use it so the only thing uh, the only namespace uh, we need to add is the uh, sys.io in this case because we are going to read the files from the folders and this namespace has different functions that we can use it we we'll go back to the uh, editor here under the namespaces go to the last one and hit enter we can type it actually system.io so you type this one and that's that's all you have to include in the namespaces the rest of the code will be going here in the main so go to the techbrothersit.com and copy the code from here. As you can see that in the post uh, somewhere it doesn't come right. Even you copy it, it is going to make uh, just fine. But sometimes it looks like maybe there is uh, some code is, uh, you know, half a cut and all those are split on multiple lines. Uh, it, it is absolutely okay if you don't want to copy from here. You can go to the uh, script to download. And uh, here I have uh, uploaded these scripts uh, to the Google Drive. And from there you can copy you will be going to the public word main and uh, that's where you are going to copy all the way down till here so until uh, dts dot task result uh, till there you will copy it and uh, hold on let me copy this one i believe you can copy from here <laughs> most of the time i i don't really copy from here so Every time I'm selecting, maybe I can download it and uh, see, I can download it and then just copy it. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm not really sure like why it's not letting me select. Uh, you can, uh, okay, select all. Uh, you can then probably copy and paste into the, uh, okay, let's do this one. At least I can show you how to copy from here. Just paste it here in the notepad and then we can copy from here. And go to the public word main and then from here all the way it's not that bad we can just uh, select all cup open in a notepad and then copy from there all right so here we are going to paste our code it looks good no error found that's great but there are a few things that we need to fix one thing uh, as you can see here, the namespace OLEDB connection, that's uh, we have to add the namespace uh, and I'm going to add that one. So I will fix uh, in the uh, script as well. Uh, that's uh, system.data, data.oledb. Okay, that namespace has to be there. So uh, that will take care of it. Now we are pretty much good. Don't see any error but there are a few things we need to fix so first of all what we are doing we are declaring these variables then setting the value of these variables by using our SSIS package variables so here you see source folder path so in SSIS if you remember I have created this variable called source folder and destination folder and file delimiter so if I will run this code, it is going to not work because I have created variable that doesn't match with that. So I have to make those changes here, source folder, um, destination folder. So this is a source folder and destination folder. And instead of file delimited, we have a file delimiter file. I am making this mistake by myself because I want to show you what errors could be and sometimes uh, you don't figure it out oh what, what is the issue and uh, you kept spending time here and there and uh, t find no error because these uh, uh, variables uh, should be exactly the same uh, what you have uh, right uh, here so destination folder file delimiter and source uh, folder so that's good now come back here once uh, we are here we are going to create a a variable called var directory and it is going to read uh, use the source of folder path that's where our um, files are and uh, uh, get uh, this is this is the directory info so it is uh, going to have a collection of uh, uh, information for us so from this directory we have the files we are gonna get that information and here we 
created that uh, uh, file info files uh, directory dot get files so it is gonna get all those file names for us so once uh, it has the file names uh, what we are gonna do we declare a variable called the file full path and now we have to loop through this uh, this is going to have our our file names and uh, we are gonna loop through and use each file each time so we are looping through uh, this uh, uh, these file list of the files or collection of files or array of file whatever you call and then here it is going to get us one at a time now what I did uh, string file name uh, declare variable uh, is a blank so on each time on each of the new file it is going to initiate it and then uh, file full path uh, source full uh, folder path variable here plus file name so it is going to give us a complete um, a path for the source file then I'm doing file name dot file dot name dot replace I don't want the XLS uh, to, to at the end uh, I want to remove it so I can use this uh, file name as uh, my CSV file so here I'm just showing the full uh, complete path for that uh, file now here I'm uh, declaring two variables string construction uh, connection string and HDR header and then header is equal to yes and uh, here connection string is uh, using microsoft.ac.oledb 12.0 provider and uh, I have to provide the file full part to read so I'm building my connection string here now once the connection string is built okay use this connection and uh, uh, create a new connection okay use this connection string to create it and open the connection now data table dt sheets so okay create a data table in the memory and uh, get all that information get only db db schema table so get the schema information so once i have that information i can extract uh, the a sheet names from it so I'm saying string sheet name sheet name is equal to blank uh, I could have a see I'm not a <laughs> um, CCR programmer so I could have just uh, used this one here in the same line uh, I declared it here on top first and then uh, set the value to blank in the next line so uh, that tells you straightforward I'm not a core core C sharp developer so it doesn't matter so we now you have an integer 16 sheet count so that's the, the variable I'm declaring setting the value to zero and here I'm looping through that sheets so dr sheets data table we have created here and we are going to the rows from that one one after one and once we try to find out okay there is a data sorry table name and that contains the string that's our sheet name so sheet name is equal to dr sheet table name dot to string this is this column value is equal to sheet name and we know that that has a uh, dollar sign uh, it uh, uh, added to it so th that means that's a real sheet next uh, we are saying uh, create all ADB command and uh, here it is select everything from uh, the sheet uh, so once this command is there we are gonna run this command and fill the data set uh, or uh, I will say data table uh, data table dt that's the table in the memory so we fill that by using uh, this statement so uh, we are reading everything from that sheet and uh, putting into memory now drop uh, dollar sign from the sheet name sheet name is equal to sheet name dot replace and remove this uh, dollar sign because uh, we can use this one uh, further uh, we, we have to use it and we don't need uh, this sheet name with it I will show you where we use it here we are creating CSV file and load data Twitter from the sheet so we are uh, then uh, create this uh, new uh, uh, what you call the instance of steam writer so once uh, you write, create this instance it is telling like okay, destination folder backslash file name dot CSV so once this is created uh, what we are going to do we have an integer uh, column count and counting the column from the data table because uh, uh, in, uh, we have loaded everything uh, from the Excel to the data table so we count the columns then uh, we check that so if a sheet count is equal to one so it, what, what does this tell us so the very first time when it is coming through uh, it is going to write that header uh, to our CSV because uh, we have multiple sheets uh, so we don't want to type header every time in that CSV file and uh, if uh, this uh, uh, this is equal to one okay let it come inside and write that uh, header if it is greater than one uh, th then don't let it uh, come 
So we are uh, uh, here. Let me see sheet count. If you see here is equal to one. So every time we are looping through, we are increasing the value on sheet first sheet. Uh, the value is going to be one, and that's where we are going to use the column header and write to CSV. When the next uh, for next sheet is going to come, it is going to be false. It will not write that uh, column header, but it will write all these uh, rows. So first, uh, if this is first sheet, go ahead and write the column header and then tie, write uh, all those uh, rows uh, to the uh, CSV file. And uh, once it's done, go back uh, and uh, get the second uh, sheet. Okay, and then uh, come back uh, and find out. Oh, okay, this is second sheet. Don't do anything here, and uh, then just uh, write the data to the CSV. So that's how it is going to work. Uh, once that sheet is completed, no more sheets on that uh, file. Uh, it is going to start from the right here again so uh, this file it take the second file again and uh, do the same thing for the second file so if you have thousand file it is going to repeat for thousand time this above for each and uh, this internal will repeat for the number of sheets you have on each uh, excel file so that's great and uh, i think so this should work just fine we don't have to make any other changes just check in uh, you can use uh, these message boxes at different places uh, here. Uh, if you want to show your sheet name and all that, you can uh, remove it, uh, uncomment it. If you want to comment it back, just put uh, these uh, back, uh, these uh, lines here, uh, backslash or forward slash. I don't know. Uh, really, <laughs> like uh, I think the back. Uh, this is forward slash. So you use these ones uh, to comment it. You can always use if you have to comment multiple multiple lines. Uh, you can always say control. Uh, case uh, C. Let me try this one. If it works, Control K C. That will put the comments. If you press Control K U, it will uncomment it. So you can use that uh, shortcut uh, keys as well. Uh, that's it. Copy. Sorry. Save. Okay. Run the package. Fine. Yeah, this was telling us, okay, this is processing first file, second file. Uh, we can remove that message box. As I said, put the comments uh, uh, and or just to delete those uh, lines. You don't need that. Here we will be going to destination folder. And here we have our CSV files. Uh, so this is the one and the, the other one uh, for here. So let's uh, open this one. Right click and say open with the notepad. I want to show you with notepad so you can see the things uh, clear. ID, name, date of birth. That's our first Excel. Uh, file and it has two records so it gave us two records fine now we go to the second one open with a notepad and here you will see that id full name date of birth and this has the record from the second excel and this is from the first sheet and this is from the second sheet so that's how you will be creating a multiple um csvs from uh, Excel files. One uh, more thing I want to go ahead and show you. I said that comma instead of comma, let's say tomorrow we get the requirement we want the pipe delimited. So we will just put the pipe here for the file delimiter, and uh, that's uh, pretty much it. And run our uh, SSIS package again. Okay, this is processing file one, this is file two. Stop the package, come back to the destination folder. Let's go right click here and say open with notepad and you see that now we have a pipe and so this file is a, a pipe delimited file now. So th this gives us more uh, opportunity to make our package dynamic. I always recommend creating variables so you can uh, pass the value to the configuration and you don't have to do uh, changes in your package every time a small change comes uh, in future. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will put the script uh, link in the description so once you go to the description of the video you click there it will take you to the script you can copy and paste and use in your scenarios thanks very much once again for your time and i will see you guys in the next video